We are at LA Live, Nokia Plaza in downtown Los Angeles, California for the fifth edition of the Revolver Golden Gods Awards. It doesn't get any better than this. We got two thirds of that metal show here. New season is pretty much around the corner. And it's a 12 season. Congratulations on 12 ass kicking seasons. What can fans expect this time around from that metal show? Well, first we should say uh, the new season of that metal show, new and improved, starts June 1st at 11 p.m. Eastern, and then like at other times somewhere else. I can't do the math really, but um, new set, new graphics. Eddie's leaner and meaner than ever, and uh, I think people are going to really dig it. New bands, all kinds of new stuff. Who are some of the guests that people can expect to see this time around? Him? We have a we have a lot of we have a lot of first time guests, people that are uh, on the show for the first time. Like Jason Newstead, uh, Tom Kiefer, um, who else? First time guests. We have a lot of first time guests. We have returning people like Dave Mustaine, Rob Zombie, Corey Taylor. Corey Taylor. He bought Josh Rand with him this time. Josh wasn't with him last time. And one of the biggest things we have as far as new guests that uh, a lot of people are really excited to see is I managed to track down Jakey e. Lee. And not only does he appear as a guest, but he also plays, plays. guitar in two shows. And people haven't seen Jake really in about 20 years, so um, that's that's a big one. Yeah. And hey, of course, we got to talk about our brother Jeff Hanneman, lost him this morning. He's bittersweet. So you know, of course, we know Slayer wrote everything. The kind of they, they wrote the path for everybody who is here today behind this car. Well, I mean, here's I mean, one of the things, the other new things on our show is we're having guests come in on Skype. And literally yesterday's taping, we had Dave Lombardo from Israel Skype in, and obviously. He, he didn't know anything about it, and uh, so that's, uh, he really poured his heart out about hoping to rejoin Slayer, and, um, you know, our thoughts are with him and all, the rest of the Slayer family today, you know, hearing about Jeff this morning is very sad. When was yeah. the first time you met Jeff? Jeez, I mean, I saw, went to see Slayer so many times, I can't even remember when the first time would have been, but, uh, you know, it was definitely maybe one of the earlier tours, and uh, over the years, certainly had him on the radio show many times hung out with him many times in the dressing room. Last time I saw him, the last two times I saw him, one was at the Big Four show in Indio, yeah, Indio. <laughs> when he got up and played for a few songs. And then a few months after that, I was out here in LA for some other business and I just happened to run into him in my hotel at the bar. And we talked and I said, how you doing? And he said, well, I'm getting better, I think. And he showed me his arm and had a drink and talked for a little bit. And that was the last time I saw him. And then I heard the tragic news you know, right? I got an email in my in my inbox uh, from the publicist, and I was just just stunned because I had hoped and thought that maybe he was getting better, but you know, obviously some things turned bad on him, and it's really tragic. Now, how important is it to have an event like this already for the fifth year in a row for our music, for our people? You guys know this hasn't happened here yet, and it's cool to you know it's, it's, it's making well, a difference. Well, unfortunately, they can only get this little local band called Metallica to headline to, uh, this year, but I'm sure it's going to grow into something big. No, of course. It's, I mean, look what has grown into an event where Metallica will headline and, uh, you know, everybody uh, in between playing tonight and uh, presenting. And, you know, I mean, Lemmy standing a few feet from us and Alice Cooper. So, uh, you know, as always, as a metalhead, you, you, you know, we're never going to be represented at the big award show, the Grammys and all that stuff. But here we're represented and everyone gets their due. Yeah, I mean, the Grammys are clueless when it comes to this music. Uh, they always are. And the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a disgrace. And to have uh, something that is actually, you know, done by people who actually care about this, it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me at all that something like this is so well supported, because it's the fans know what's real. You know, fans know what matters of this music. And and clearly, when something's done right, it's going to get the support it deserves. And that's the best thing to see. Absolutely. Don, hey man, always Eddie, great seeing you, always good hey seeing you guys. Appreciate Have fun with Metallica, yeah. Anthrax, yeah, Danzig. Too, it's gonna be great today. Oh, yeah, a good time, cool. brother. Thank sure. you. And you guys watching, make sure you check out season 12 of that metal show starts June 1st. Hey what am I doing in life? Uh, not much. Going to school. Play guitar. I'm in a heavy metal band. And I don't know. Trying to live. Judas Priest, Anthrax, Iron Maiden, Metallica, Death Metal, Thrash Metal. What can you say? Slayer, Glam Metal, Heavy Metal. I think I wouldn't be alive to this day unless I had rock and roll and heavy metal music in my life. 
you live it, you drink it. It's part of, of belonging to something greater than yourself. You believe it and you love it. I think it's the weird thing. It's definitely a brotherhood. Deep purple. I was a kiss freak as a kid. Scorpions. Zeppelin, of course. I saw Peter Townsend smash a perfectly good Stratocaster. And like that was the moment that I was hooked. Just crank up a stereo and just get taken away. Everything just disappears. It's me and the music. It's a uh, comrade. I mean, it, yeah, I mean, metal is definitely the freaks. It's the people who don't fit in. It's the outcasts. I think good metal music uh, is defiant, in a sort of uh, built-in rebellious element. That, to me, is my drug. Makes you go, yes. Angst. Powerful. A little horror. I feed off that. Heavy, loud, and intense. Life. It's the music that made me grab a tennis racket and pretend to play guitar. Every metal band is my favorite heavy metal band. Megadeth, The Cult, Alice Cooper, Pantera. They've got it all. Molly Crew. <laughs> he had poison. Rage Against the Machine. Motorhead for sure. Ronnie James Dio. Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. The, the Bastard Forgotten Son. Like Rob Halford said, you know, united with Stan. For decades, people have tried to count out hard rock and heavy metal music. And for decades, they are proven wrong. It is the most loyal fan base, some of the greatest bands ever, and it's not going anywhere.